1989, 18 races ago. Now back to turn number two. One and a half laps remaining here at Bristol to settle it. They're all nose to tail. Davey Allison leads the way back to three. Martin is second. Sterling Marlin third. Ricky Rudd is fourth. And all this lap traffic they're catching as they come up on the lap cars. White flag as they whistle back down into turn number one for Davey Allison. The lap cars are dropping to the inside. They're out of turn two. One final chance. Davey breaks him off the corner. Ricky Rudd gets into the side of Sterling Marlin. Spins him around. Marlin spins down to the inside of the racetrack. Up front, it's Davey Allison. Allison goes high. Mark Martin goes low. It's a drag race to the finish. It is Allison by just inches, if that much. And they'll have to verify with the photo finish camera. Davey Allison went high in turn four. Mark Martin's Ford went low. Both men pull alongside one another on the back straightaway, probably looking and saying, well, who beat whom to the line? And with our naked eye, we would say Allison by maybe two inches, if that much. It'll be verified by NASCAR's photo finish camera. We'll have to wait and see. And meanwhile, Joel Moore, you've got two cars still there in the middle of the back straightaway with an incident that came off number two corner. Sterling Marlin had spun down up against the inside retaining wall as he saw Ricky Rudd coming back around. He was waiting for him, maybe to make a bit of a gesture. Rudd now is stopping the racetrack. Now Marlin is trying to back into him. Ricky puts the car in reverse, and I think tempers will cool off there. Apparently they have right now, because Sterling puts the car in gear, moves it in a forward motion, and Ricky will follow him on around to the pit area. But I'm sure they'll have some discussion on that incident uh, as soon as they get together here in the pits. It's over. We'll be going to victory lane in a moment. Talk about a close finish. It was just inches here a moment ago at the start-finish line. Let's go down to Dick Brooks. Davey Allison? Oh, he's getting, Davey's getting a little hug and kissing here. Davey, uh, how much closer did you get to that? Well, I'll tell you what, Dick, that was an awful close finish. Mark Mark made a strong charge there at the end, and, uh, you know, i got to give him credit for a great race. The guys over there have done a super job, but uh, the guys on the Haviland crew are the best, and we're glad to have this Texaco Haviland Humminbird Thunderbird in victory lane. I bet they are. I'll tell you, that's a happy bunch of boys. I'll tell you, it's been a while for those guys, and they've needed it, and they just... Uh, Got it by inches, so that's a good race. That's the closest I've ever seen, maybe one or two at Daytona, not any closer than that. Let's check in right now with Jim Phillips. Second place finisher, Mark Martin, you did, you did everything that you could do to win this race and just couldn't pull it off. Well, uh, congratulations to Davey Allison. Boy, we got close. We had a great run. Uh, the Folgers team are the heroes again today. You know, the guys.